So if you sit there and you eat food and you say it doesn't matter, organic is a bougie thing, organic is a privileged thing, I want you to think about the migrant worker that is picking your food, that is touching those herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, and get ingesting all of that before it gets washed and sterilized and sent to you. Cheap, convenient food is abusive food. Cheap, convenient food is abusive food. Not just to you and your family and your gut, but to everybody that's in that supply chain, except for whoever the top of the pyramid is. The question is, do we need the labor? And the answer is yes. So once we can get over that, then we can come up with a solution. But we have to protect the people that grow our food, that prepare our food, that harvest our food, that clean our food, that slaughter our food. We have to protect those people. Don't have anybody in my community that's like, you know what I really wanna go do? Work at a slaughterhouse. You know what I really wanna go do? Pick strawberries in the hot ass sun all day. And we can talk all day about white privilege, but there's also American privilege. And Americans do not want to slave away in the hot sun all day long. So as long as we're pretending that we don't need the labor, we're going to be losing. And we need to start from a place of honesty. Americans don't wanna do these jobs and we have to invite the people that do want to do these jobs and treat them with dignity and love because they are the lifeline of the food that we are eating. Regenerative or not regenerative, the people growing our food need to be treated well. And if it's not regenerative, we have to realize who is getting poisoned directly. Who is spraying this poison? Who is breathing this poison? Who is touching this poison? And so I wanna tell every mother out there, every white mother, black mother, Latino mother, that puts so much love into her table from the grocery store till she cleans the dishes afterwards, please put that much love into the time from the seed until the grocery store. We need the same amount of love. I know you love your family and I know how much love you put into your food and the food on your table, but that love needs to be extended from the seed to the grocery store. We need to take care of the people that are feeding us.